welcome to the Infant Feeding Team South Warwickshire Foundation Trust video on effective milk transfer. Baby displays behaviours to stimulate the oxytocin to allow the milk to let down. They're bringing their shoulders up and they're pushing into and pulling away from the breast. Sucking is rapid with no swallowing at the beginning of a feed. As well as this video, another useful tool to refer to is the breastfeeding checklist on the UNICEF baby friendly website entitled How Can I Tell Breastfeeding Is Going Well? You can now see the milk transfer starting to happen. The bottom of the chin drops lower when baby swallows. This should be approximately one to two sucks per swallow. Baby should be breastfeeding eight to 12 times in 24 hours and these feeds can vary between five to 40 minutes in length. Baby should be calm and relaxed whilst feeding as in, and is content after most feeds. Wet and dirty nappies is also a great indicator of milk transfer and by day five, baby should be having five to six wet nappies in 24 hours and two yellow, at least two pound size stools in 24 hours. Notice how baby is making eye contact throughout the feed, quietly watching with calm touch and soft words. Responsive feeding is a two-way feeding relationship where breastfeeding can be used to comfort and calm. Breastfed babies cannot be overfed and it is natural and normal for a baby to want to be close and be held by parents. As the feed progresses, the suck-swallow ratio decreases to approximately three to five sucks per swallow with occasional pauses. Your baby should be a normal colour, however some babies have a yellow discoloration of the skin known as jaundice. If you are concerned about this, please mention it to your midwife or health visitor. Towards the end of a feed, small jaw flutters and less swallowing occur. Leave the baby on the breast until they release it themselves. For most people, feeding off one side until they come off and then offering the second is ideal, allowing them to take the side, that side if they want as per appetite. If you're having weight worries, switching sides is important as babies are driven to feed by flow of milk. If weight is a concern, please contact your local infant feeding team, midwife or health visitor. Eyes fluttering, hands relaxed, watch closely and you can see baby release the nipple at the end of the feed, calm and content. You should not experience pain and your nipple should be the same shape at the end of a feed as it was at the beginning. If you are experiencing discomfort, please contact your local infant feeding team, midwife or health visitor. On your next appointment with your midwife, please ask for your copy of your mother's and other's guide to breastfeeding. We hope you enjoyed our video and thank you very much for watching.